In this video, we are diving deep into the Matrix by playing the first scenario of Legendary Encounters Matrix Edition. Be aware that there will be spoilers, so please watch at your own risk. Join me, Morpheus, Trinity, and Neo in watching this solitaire gameplay on Legendary Tactics. This is Legendary Encounters Matrix. I've got the game set up with Neo, uh, Morpheus, and Trinity. And we're going to give the first scenario a go. The first order of business is the Matrix phase. So we're going to move a card onto the rooftops. We're going to start by drawing six cards for Neo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so Neo has uh, four recruiting points and a couple of uh, attack points. Neo, as Thomas Anderson, starts the game in the Matrix. Here's, here's the cards available in the dock. Have this one, this one, this one, sorry, Morpheus, this one, and this one. Not much can be done with these two combat cards at the moment, so we'll head to the real world and uh, recruit a card. Okay, and going out to the real world. After taking a look, I think I'm going to go with this one, and we're going to go for the green symbols for uh, Neo and uh, see if we can get some combos going. And that spends our entire hand. There's no cards in the combat zone, so we'll draw up uh, the six cards, which are the the other uh, f uh, four, or sorry, three combat uh, cards and three recruiting cards. So an even split for our next hand. Mr. Anderson being. Um, not yet woken up, needs to go back into the Matrix. Next up, we have another Matrix phase. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have three combat cards, a couple of recruiting points, and a uh, Free Your Mind card. Uh, currently... Um, with Morpheus, we have uh, um, Act 1, you get plus one uh, recruiting point and draw a card. So that's uh, where, what we're going to do first. So I'm going to play, um, put this one into play here. And uh, we get one extra recruiting point and draw a card. So that gives us four recruiting points here. Now I forgot to draw a card from, to replace the last one. And that one's going to be a bit too pricey. I think with the four recruiting points we have to spend, uh, we're going to take this Trinity one at the end of your turn. If you defeated at least one enemy this turn, draw an extra card when you draw your new hand. Seems like a good one to me. And we'll replace the card that was taken. And uh, that one looks like it... Uh, could be a decent one. Um, choose a player, they may defeat a card in their discard pile. And if, if it's a bug, you and that player each draw a card. So that's good defense against the, uh, the, uh, the system cards that are mixed in. And now it's Morpheus's turn to go into the Matrix. Uh, we have some, uh, some cards. Oh, I've played these guys already. And uh, we've got three uh, combat uh, attack so we can scan the the card that's in the building okay let's take a peek and it is a police officer not too intimidating um, should be able to take take him out at some point soon and we'll draw up the next uh, three sorry six cards and because of the extra card draw we got um, we know we have four recruiting points and two strike for next time. So that one should be, hopefully we can boost that at some point later on. Next, we have another matrix phase. The phone in the alley is no longer accessible to get in or out of the matrix. 
And now it's Trinity's turn. Okay, let's see what Trinity has. Oh, lots of attack. Uh, not much recruiting is going to happen this uh, this round, I think. So we may as well dive into the Matrix and do some damage. So Trinity is going to do a big jump into the Matrix. Now the question is how to spend these five uh, attack here. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a waste, I think. But um, I don't know if it's worth doing. Uh, there's no easy combination here that's going to work. So maybe the best thing to do would be just to... Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll actually scan the building and see what that what that gets us. And what do we have here? Oh, we got another police officer. Okay, that's good to know. Unfortunately, we can't do any damage on the police officer at the moment, but um, at least we know we've got a couple of weaker enemies that perhaps we can take out. Um, Neo has uh, three strike uh, coming up, so maybe that will help uh, help out with this. And we throw everything on the discard. Nothing in the strike zone, so just draw up the six cards there. And we'll take a look. We got planned. Oh, geez. Six, six recruiting points for next turn. All right. Well, that should be good to improve our, uh, our deck. Another matrix phase begins. Now we're getting a little bit of pressure here from the, uh, the cops in the streets in the alleyway. Now it is the turn of Mr. Anderson, who has three and three. So we're going to play... Uh, these three here for, um, we're going to take out the police officer right here. And we're going to then um, hop out of the matrix. And we're going to uh, look at buying uh, a card here with our three recruiting points. I think the one that I like is this one. It's two recruiting points and... Uh, with some coordination, might be able to uh, scan any space, which could be really, really valuable. So I um, think I'm going to give this one a, a, a try. Now we're going to replace that one with, um, you think that's air you're breathing, which is a, a good combination, actually, that has the symbol that we need. And again, Mr. Anderson returns to the Matrix, and uh, we throw these cards back down onto the deck we reshuffle and we draw up the next six uh, might want to get some hovercraft as well soon to get some coordination going it's one of the underrated cards you get too distracted by the cards in the uh, in the dock here okay what are we looking at <clears throat> okay three and three good balance we'll see what we can do with that uh, next time Time in the Matrix marches on. So now we'll see what Morpheus can do. Uh, problem is, two strike isn't going to be enough to take out that uh, police officer. So it's going to get uh, maybe a little bit tricky to get in and out of the Matrix if I don't get uh, a kill here. Um, there's not much I can do with these cards, so um, I'll use them, but to no avail. Um, time to leave the Matrix and recruit. So Morpheus is going to back out of the Matrix, going to spend four. Um, the one that really uh, jumps out, I think, is, uh, is this one. To defeat a card in the discard pile uh, seems kind of thematic as well that Morpheus has a card like this, even though it's Trinity's card. And uh, we're going to spend that uh, there. Um, and make get one of those system cards out of the uh, out of the deck. We got another expensive one, a really good one. Um, sacrifice to defeat a machine enemy. So that's pretty pretty cool. That's uh, expensive though. I don't know uh, how we're going to be able to afford it. No enemies yet in the combat zone, but that could change. So we're going to shuffle up and draw six cards here and see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And what are we looking at for Morpheus? We have uh, some recruiting. Well, we're outside of the matrix, so it may not be a bad thing. We'll see how things play out. Okay, and the matrix marches onward. Now we're beginning to fall behind a little bit. I don't like this. It's going to be hard to get in and out of the matrix now. And if you'll recall, Trinity had nothing but recruiting cards. So there's not much we can do other than uh, pay to get out of the matrix, I guess, and uh, maybe buy hovercraft. I think that's our only real move to do anything. All right, we're going to pay to use the payphone. We're going to head out of the matrix. I don't know how wise this is. We're going to buy a hovercraft, and uh, it has the metal... Uh, of the digital gray symbol there so um, that one could be really handy um, we're going to uh, we know we've kind of got some colors now for each of the uh, each of uh, my avatars each of my characters but Neo's left to fight in the matrix by himself which isn't good and the police officer moves into the combat zone and we move everything across feel like we're really behind right now. So looking at Neo's cards, we've got enough uh, attack to get rid of this police officer here. Um, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able, we're not going to be able to get out of the, uh, the matrix for now. So um, we have just enough to pay to get out, but then we get sucked back in. So um, I suppose we could do a little loop there. It doesn't really matter. Um, we're just going to have to deal with what comes at this point. So with no cards in the combat zone, we have six more cards coming up for Neo. What have we got here? Oh, we got to coordinate. That is good. We can utilize that um, probably. And we've got some recruiting points. If we can get out of the matrix, then we should be in good shape. Um, but we have uh, some coordination going on, which will be helpful. Now the matrix marches on, and the card is, uh, uh, there is always, time is always against us, the event. Subtract one from the time track. If this was revealed in the combat zone, subtract another one. So, great. <laughs> We're already in trouble here. And the time track goes down by two. And the rest of the cards move across. Okay. We'll see what's uh, what's next here. And Morpheus is up next. He can maybe uh, got a bit of strike, so he can maybe do something at least. Um, so we've got four uh, recruiting points to spend, and two attack, which we'll have to uh, dive in and see. Um, let me take a look at what's in the dock. Nothing too attractive, um, so I'm going to purchase a uh, hovercraft with my recruiting points, and then we're going to head into the matrix. So Morpheus takes a dive into the matrix. We have the two uh, attack points uh, here, which we're going to scan and see what we're facing uh, here in the first space. In the subway, it is another time is against us, subtracting one from the time track. And uh, so that's not going too well. <laughs> anyway, we're running running low on time already, and the game's just started. Nothing in the combat zone, so we'll take our hand. And we've got, uh, okay, we've got this one here. Actually, yeah, we've got four uh, attack points. That's pretty, pretty good. And uh, we should be able to um, also, we if we choose a player and, and we can defeat a card in their discard pile, um, which may come in handy here. So anyway, we'll see what, uh, what happens next. The Matrix marches on, and we'll see what we have here we need Trinity back in action. Forgot to draw Trinity's uh, fresh hand from last time, so we'll do that now. Um, we have the uh, Free Your Mind 
three, four, five. So we have free your mind. We have the coordinate for that, uh, which we probably could have used actually um, if we'd drawn it properly. But we'll we'll let Trinity use it this time. Um, see if we can get a good good card going. Um, so the uh, we're going to use free your mind first, uh, which for Trinity in Act One is draw a card. So that gives us another attack. Um, not really much to do other than scanning once we get into the matrix. But um, anyway, what we'll do is we'll spend these uh, five here and we will see what we can purchase. I guess we're going to buy this one here. Um, it's a pretty good attack. Um, and um, I don't know, it's it's one that I was hoping to save for uh, for Neo, but we'll use we're going to save the greens for neo we'll go for red for trinity i guess from now on um, so we'll buy this one the replacement card is oh and that's another good one for trinity that is a good one as well so maybe one to buy shortly if we ever get caught up on the uh, the enemy and so we can leave the matrix without too much trouble so Trinity is going to dive into the matrix as well. We're going to use the two strike to scan what is in the subway. And oh boy, we see this uh, this guy with no mouth here. Um, so what is it? What good is a phone call if you're unable to speak until your next uh, until then your next turn? You can't coordinate with other players or be coordinated to, and you can't discuss game strategy. If you're playing solo, you can't play or discard cards with coordinate during your action phase. Okay, so I guess that applies to uh, Trinity. Um, although I guess um, it does, it's not really clear actually whether, but no, it's, it's, I think it's clear enough. It says to coordinate with other players. So I think this affects uh, Trinity's ability to coordinate. So, um, oh well, it is what it is. No cards in the combat zone, so we will Draw another six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one left. Okay, and we have four recruit, two uh, attack coming up for next time. The Matrix advances again. Neo is up. Got some attack here. Um, and four, that would be great to spend. You know what? Actually, we can probably make this happen. Um, so let's do this. We couldn't have used this coordinate anyway with Trinity uh, after the after the uh, card was revealed. So what we'll do, we'll scan. We'll use this card to scan, and we'll see what's in the subway. And hopefully, hopefully we can use the phone to get out of uh, the matrix to buy another card. So what do we have here? Oh, we've got Agent Smith uh, Chase. So uh, if you are not in the Matrix, Agent, uh, or sorry, this is not Agent Smith, it's Agent Brown. Agent Brown leaves. He doesn't strike, put him into the, def uh, de into the defeated enemy's pile. So if we get out of the Matrix, then that is a good thing. A um, little bit tough for Neo to do that. Mr. Anderson's not yet woken up. So that uh, one additional strike or one additional uh, attack card is now not going to be useful unfortunately we need a lot of strength to to get uh, brown out of the way so um i guess there's not a lot uh, i can do at the moment because i can't buy anything so i guess we'll just have to let things uh, go from here would have been nice to be able to escape the matrix and buy another card but anyway i'm going to draw these two cards and uh, nothing in the combat zone quite yet so we'll draw another four so once again we have um oh geez it'd be good to get some synergies going but the symbols don't match so we're not yet able to do much of what we want but we do have some attack here so maybe we can get up enough strength um, to uh, to get rid of Agent Brown when he moves into the combat zone. And that happens now. So 
At least we're all three of us in the matrix and can fight, hopefully. Now with Morpheus up next, we have four, one, two, three, four, two to, to purchase with. We're not going to be able to use those this turn. We have four attack and um, we can get two coordinate from Mr. Anderson. So that's six. And I think that's what we're... We're going to build up the uh, the combat strength there, I think. We're going to uh, do a scan of the subway and see what's there. And what's in the subway here? Okay, we have uh, reveal. You can't scan for the rest of the turn, says the tactical police, but they aren't strong. Uh, Morpheus, on, under his own power, can uh, use the attack to remove them. Now, this timing might have just worked out perfectly um, because um, we can use this payphone to get uh, Morpheus out of the uh, matrix. And the card says, if you are not in the matrix, Agent Brown leaves. He doesn't strike. Put him in the defeated enemies pile. So I believe we managed to get rid of Agent Brown, which is pretty awesome. Now, unfortunately, the two... Uh, recruiting points were not enough to actually buy anything <laughs> for uh, Morpheus. So we're going to just uh, draw the, our fresh cards. We got these three. We got to reshuffle here. Let me do that now. Okay, and we'll draw three more cards here. And we do have some recruiting points. This could be uh, could be a good thing. And we have uh, we've got the Trinity uh, card, the attack card for your mind, and uh, some recruit. We got some good recruiting points, so I think we're we're going to be in good shape uh, this turn um, coming up. Once again, the Matrix marches onward, and now Trinity is up. We can get rid of that event, and we. Once again, have a lot of recruiting points here. Um, I guess we'll use this to scan uh, the subway and see what's there. Hopefully we can get out via the phone and buy something. So a quick scan of the subway reveals this uh, event. It's a challenge, how deep the rabbit hole goes. Uh, so this goes into operations uh, when this and... All I'm offering is the truth have both been completed. Begin Act 1, Part 2. There's only two recruiting points necessary to complete this one, so this one shouldn't be too hard to get through. So we'll throw this one into operations. So we're going to get out of the matrix and back to buying a card. We have four uh, recruiting points to use. Um, and uh, I like the idea of taking this... Um, silver one as we already have a silver card elsewhere and so we can hopefully get some synergies going with this one we'll replace it with um, one of those which we have seen before and that's good because that can help out uh, with Neo once again nothing in the combat zone we get a combat card for Trinity's next turn and we're going to take, and we get another combat card. We get that uh, that one, which uh, maybe maybe we should save that one for Trinity instead of Neo. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, other than that, we got three strike and well, actually six six strike available, and uh, two uh, recruiting points. So not much uh, available to buy, but maybe we can get rid of that operation, uh, that challenge in operations right now. The Matrix once again moves along. Mr. Anderson's turn. Um, well, we have some four, four points for recruiting. We have a coordinate opportunity, but we didn't need to use that, so... Um, I guess we'll just uh, use that to scan and we'll see what's in the first box there in the subway and we'll take things from there. 
scanning the subway police officer don't think we can uh, find the strength to um, to beat him unless there's a coordinate option I'll just have to double check all right no coordinate option available so um, well I guess we'll scan the the neighboring space in the street see what's here it's another police officer well at least we know we're not up against some, anything too tough quite yet um, I will spend uh, two um, uh, of the recruiting points and we'll take care of this challenge in operations the other two are just gonna have to go to waste unfortunately so we pay the cost here and uh, we need uh, all I'm offering is the truth and then we can move on to the next act. Nothing in the combat zone, so we draw up six cards. And oh, about and another balanced uh, balanced hand. We've got three strike and three recruiting for next time. Hopefully that'll be helpful. Now we do have some movement into the combat zone. We'll move all these across here. And uh, we'll see what comes up next. Morpheus has one, two, three recruiting points. There's some combat, but that's we're going to do uh, free your mind first, and that uh, gives plus one recruiting point and a draw a card, which is another recruiting point. So this is good. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so. Uh, that gives us five recruiting points to spend. Um, and then we can dive back into the matrix and see what we can do to help out. Okay, I'm going to have to shift my plan here. I know we've got the green hovercraft, so I'm going to take uh, this guy. Um, we're going to go for green for Morpheus now. I'm not going to worry about Neo so much anymore in that respect. And that's another good card for Trinity who is building up the red symbols uh, as well. So that's perfect timing. Then Morpheus dives into the matrix and with three uh, attack points, um, then uh, I get to uh, uh, remove this police officer. Now it says here um, that at the end of the turn, if you defeated at least one enemy this turn, draw an extra card. So I'll draw seven cards with my next hand for Morpheus. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's handy. Um, three combat uh, coordinate. Uh, that's that's very handy to help out with uh, the recruiting side of things. Um, so if we can't use the points, then someone else can. But we have four uh, attack, which is uh, pretty useful, I think. Police officer moves into the combat zone, and we get a bunch of other cards. Ha, huh, it's pretty relentless. Now with Trinity up next, um, we have enough to get rid of that police officer dude. Well, actually, we got more than that. So, um, We've only got two points to recruit with. There's really not enough, unfortunately. So we're just going to dive into the matrix, I think. So Trinity arrives and has a fair amount of firepower to utilize here. Um, so um, this has a healing ability, which hasn't come into play yet. But we're going to play this uh, here to remove the police officer and save us, uh, save our bacon there. Um, I guess we'll scan, maybe we'll scan the streets because the, the subway is going to be revealed to us anyway. Okay, what do we got here? Gain this card when you when you draw this, discard it. So this is the bug event. Um, not the worst thing in the world, but uh, it will uh, slow things down a little bit. And that's all that uh, Trinity can do. Six cards again. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And what do we got? Lots of recruiting, a little bit of strike, but uh, 
Yeah, nothing to can't get any combos working quite yet, but hopefully soon. Now the matrix advances, but not into the combat zone. Kind of interesting. Mr. Anderson is up next with a, again a rather lackluster uh, hand. We're going to spend uh, two strike to uh, reveal what's on the subway. See if we can get out of the matrix briefly to recruit at least a hovercraft. And what do we end up with? Okay. This is the uh, I'm Offering the Truth Challenge. So put this into operations. And uh, this requires two uh, damage in order to get rid of. Unfortunately, Neo only has the one left. So that is not going to be useful. However, we can uh, use this to get out of the matrix temporarily and get a hovercraft. Okay, so uh, we have the three to spend. Um, wish there was another card perhaps that we could buy, but a hovercraft's going to have to do. And it's one of those uh, the blue ones, which could work with Morpheus. Morpheus has one of those cards, so we'll see uh, how that works. And we're going to draw these two, a couple of recruiting cards, and we need to drop another four. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Huh, okay, well, lots of <laughs> lots of recruiting options. Uh, hopefully we can get out of the matrix to utilize them. Not a lot of uh, combat, just one single combat uh, strength there. So we'll have to see how this works. Um, but maybe we can uh, change the dynamic by completing the the challenge. And of course, Mr. Anderson gets sucked back into the matrix. And the track marches on. Morpheus is up next and has uh, some opportunity, well, had an opportunity to coordinate. Um, anyway, I think what we'll do, let's uh, scan the subway first and if it's impossible, then we'll um, complete the challenge and move the uh, story forward. Let's see what we're up against here. Oh, the security card. Okay. If this enemy was revealed in the matrix row, it can't be fought this turn. So nothing we can do about that one. We could also scan the streets, I suppose. Um, but let's get, let's get the story moving forward here. Um, we can't leave the, uh, the matrix. So let's uh, spend these two points to finish the challenge and advance the story along. And challenge complete. So we move on to Act 1, Part 2. All right, Act 1, Part 2. We flip this over. What have we got here? I'm going to have to read this card here. Um, well, in the real world, if you gain a hovercraft or have one in your play area, including a coordinated one, you may free Neo from the Matrix. Shuffle the 14 Neo ex hero extra cards into the... Um, and the heroes in the dock into Zion. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we need the uh, the hovercraft. We have to gain a hovercraft or have one in my play area, um, including a coordinated one. So that shouldn't take long to do. Now, I can't get out of the matrix, but I do have a hovercraft here. I don't know how that counts because um, I technically can't really play it. I'm going to just leave it that I can't play it. Um, because I'm not out of the matrix. So anyway, we'll, we'll um, have to see what happens with that later. Um, anyway, I gain, uh, or I have those two cards there, and uh, we're going to, because one of those things that maybe you can't play recruiting cards when you're outside of the matrix. So, okay, so we have, uh, oh, we got some decent combat and some, uh, some recruiting, but don't know if we'll get a chance to use those and a coordinate uh, two. So that could be really helpful for Trinity this turn. Okay, we're going to advance the matrix. Again, the security card enters the, uh, the combat zone. All right, Trinity, what have you got here? Lots of recruiting. 
couple of attack. Um, okay, so this is going to be interesting. So in the play area, we're going to uh, spend one one strike here to uh, get the security guard, and we're going to scan, and hopefully that'll give us uh, four um, recruiting points if we can get out of the matrix in time. So the security card is removed. We flip this one here. Oh, and it is the Oracle. This is another challenge. So let's put it in operations. And uh, act two, if seven training cards have been defeated, you may talk to the Oracle and complete this challenge to begin act two, part two. So that is interesting. Okay, so I can get out of the matrix using the free phone and I'm gonna be recruiting a card or whatever I can afford. Okay, I think it's an easy choice. We're going to get this one because of the red symbol here, and that will work well with Trinity's deck. We're going to replace with, oh, another red symbol. Okay, this is good. We're hopefully going to get some synergies moving soon. Okay, so that was a good turn overall. And we're going to pick up four cards. There is a hovercraft, and perhaps we can get it coordinated and move the uh, give Neo his extra special cards. Uh, okay, we've got four uh, there. I'm going to draw another two, and there's the bug. So when you draw it, discard it. So um, we end up with one card short this turn, but uh, we've got uh, the free your mind, which will replace that uh, card, especially if we uh, can move things into Act Two. Um, then that'll give us uh, two card draws um, based on Trinity's card here. And the Matrix moves along. And then we will take another look at Neo's hand here. Four, five, six recruiting points, one attack. Um, we're going to just take a quick look to see if there's any coordination cards. So Morpheus can coordinate and we're, we're going to do that we're going to scan that subway and see if we can get out of the matrix for free um, because uh, if we can great if not we'll pay to get out because uh, trinity can coordinate a, a hovercraft and we can move the plot along so we'll do that so with the with the uh, the two um, attack from morpheus's coordinate we don't have any other attack, so unless it's a really weak card there, we're going to have to just put up with what uh, with what comes up. Okay, and with this scan, it reveals um, the uh, the uh, looking at the woman in the red dress. Um, at the end of your action phase, turn this card face down. So it's just temporarily available for attacking. Um, so that's unfortunate, but it is what what it is. We can't uh, we can't uh, take her down. To get out for free so we'll just have to pay and neo is going to have to pay to use the phone so we'll do that um, there and uh, that strike isn't going to be or that uh, attack card isn't going to do much so we'll have three to spend plus the uh, the amount that's available um, from the hovercraft coordinate so that's not bad so we'll move Neo to the real world and Trinity is going to use this in a coordinate and so we get to move the plot along. If you recall once the hovercraft was in um, was in uh, with Neo in the real world and the hovercraft being used so we free Neo from the matrix shuffle the 14 extra uh, Neo hero cards um, and the heroes in the dock back into Zion. So this is all out now. And we take these cards and all the cards that were in the dock, and we're going to shuffle them up and add them into uh, Zion. For those of you unfamiliar, this is Zion, the card where all the cards get, um, get drawn from. Um, <laughs> it's so funny because I'm not sure if these cards would be best sleeved because um, there's a lot of shuffling involved um, but I guess it depends on how much you play the game and and uh, so forth so 
nothing wrong with having some well-loved cards. I, I don't know if that's shuffled properly here, but we'll deal out the uh, the dock and see what we get. Okay, let's see what we get. We've got, um, that's a silver one. Oh, geez, looks like I didn't. Well, maybe I did shuffle these well. We've got uh, some of the new special cards in here. We've got uh, guns and lots of them, which uh, actually could be really good. I think that'll pair well with one of Morpheus's uh, cards if we can get that. And we get another uh, uh, fighting card, which that's pretty good. So I like these. <clears throat> now for Neo's purchase, we've got um, five... Um, recruiting points here to make use of so um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to uh, let's see which ones would be good uh, this this one would be good here but I've got us <laughs> I don't want to waste the, the five so um, or we could get these oh, no we can only get two of those so okay um, maybe actually we'll do this one in a hovercraft and we get and we get the red one, so that's okay. Um, with the coordinate, that's not so bad. Uh, hovercrafts are pretty good because um, I just don't see anything quite compelling enough there. And uh, this is I wanted this to, symbol to be Trinity's, this one to be Morpheus's, or sorry, these three Trinities. So yeah, just trying to keep everyone uh, together. We did get another um, punch yellow symbol there, so that one could coordinate well with what we have. Um, already so okay so obvi obviously not a bad turn we also get the new and improved neo so that is pretty cool this card goes on the top of the deck so we will get it next time and that could mean uh, um, plus uh, three attack and draw a card so neo becomes a bit of a, of a force and doesn't have to return to the matrix automatically anymore and we'll flip over the lady in red there, even though she's going to come back in the combat zone. And our objective is to complete the training and speak to the oracle. Now, if you've forgotten, that's what um, refers to here. We have to, uh, um, there's seven training cards that we need to defeat in order to speak to the oracle, and then that will advance the plot. So, um, yeah, we need those training cards to turn up now. And we'll draw <coughs> the six uh, new cards, of course, we know we have uh, Free Your Mind. And, oh, we got lots of attack. Look at that. And a coordinate. Potentially useful there. One, two, three, four, five. And then this will be worth um, eight. And we can't add any more cards this turn, likely, without a coordinate anyway. Um, so we'll see. Maybe we can get a coordinate from someone so we can buy um, this card here from the, the dock, which I think could combo well with this one. So anyway... Uh, doing my best to try and get these combos up and running. It's not having a lot of success so far. So Morpheus is up next, but we're going to advance the Matrix track here. Now let's see what Morpheus has. <coughs> Obviously, initially we want to take out that, uh, that lady. Um, actually, we'll use the... Uh, I don't have a lot here. Um, okay, so I guess what we'll do is we'll we'll use these two here for um, we're going to use these those two uh, there to um, take out the lady in red, and that's going to give me a card draw as well uh, for the next uh, for the next um, turn when I pick up cards. Okay, and the. The lady in red is defeated. You know what? Neo has a lot of attack, so I'm going to accept a coordinate from from Neo, and uh, that's going to mean that I'm going to uh, be able to scan this here. And what do we get? Okay, with that card out of the way, uh, we can't use this additional uh, damage card, but we can at least get out of the matrix and buy something. Okay, now we only have three to spend uh, here, um, but that uh, that could allow for 
um, some some opportunities. There's nothing that really jumps out that I can afford, so I'm going to just take the uh, the uh, the black yellow um, uh, hovercraft here. See if we can make some cool coordinations happen with that. And uh, so that's the last of the hovercrafts. And uh, so now, with nothing in the strike uh, in the combat zone, we're going to uh, draw six more cards from Orpheus. And we get the coordinate there, three and two. Well, three and four, I should say. Three attack, four recruit. But we'll keep that coordinate face up, so um, just in case we can utilize it. Oh, and I forgot to draw the extra card for Morpheus because of the card that uh, was used. And we get a free your mind, which is great. Okay. And the Matrix does its thing. So we're going to do Trinity's play next. Um, she's short a card because of the bug, but we're going to free your mind because that because we're in Act 2 now. We're drawing two cards. It gives us a little bit of attack there and an extra card draw. Well, with four available for purchase, we may as well get this one um, as it has the silver symbol, which we're trying to build for, uh, for Trinity, and it gives some card draw to our, our friends, which could be really useful. So that's going to be a good one to uh, utilize. And then we have um, the knife throw coming up next. That's a great one uh, when uh, you're trying to get an, a strong attack going. And Trinity is going to hop back into the Matrix. Uh, we're going to spend uh, two to, um, to see what's in the subway. Oh, and we've got an event. All right, so this card is not going to be able to be used very well. We'll take a look at the event. Um, no one's ever made the first jump. So this is another challenge. Uh, so we've got to put this above the building space. And while in the matrix, if the building space is clear, you may jump, discard the top card of your deck. If it is a cost five or more, you made it. Otherwise, draw a strike. Either way, complete the challenge. So this goes above the building um, up here. And of course, the building space has to be clear in order for us to access that challenge. And we're going to have to do it at some point. So these are the tricky... Uh, things that this uh, game system throws at you. I don't have any combat coordinates or anyone to, or anything to receive, so I'm going to take my six cards. Um, I don't get an extra card from the uh, Trinity uh, card here because I didn't uh, destroy anyone. And we have... Oh, this looks like a pretty good... This is the, the where the hand quality improves a little bit. So we got four uh, recruiting points and uh, five attacks. So that could be uh, very useful. Um, no coordinate, though, unfortunately, so um, we're going to have to um, do everything ourselves when the time comes. Okay, we advance the cards along the matrix there. Okay, it is up to Mr. Anderson. Um, now, Mr. Anderson has a... Um, free your mind. So we're going to use that now. We're going to use that for three additional um, strike, but we're going to draw a card and see what we get. Okay, so we have three to spend, and we're going to do that. I see the card right now that I'm going to use that on. We're going to take this one here. Um, co should coordinate well with the other card that we, that we took. And we're going to dive into the matrix. We have three and three uh, attack. So we're going to do a scan of that challenge space and see if we can maybe complete it and get that out of the way quickly. And the card that replaces it is, oh, another one of those. That's good. We can really build on Neo, Neo's uh, synergies here. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, hit me if you can. So fight, discard the top card of this, the fight, the strike deck, if it is two damage or more defeat this enemy otherwise leave it where it is so um, we have to see what we can do to damage we're going to put this all all in on this and see what strike card we draw and we draw a three so that is great we get to discard this uh, card here and uh and uh, we, that is a, uh, a training card. So that counts towards the Oracle's um, 
uh, uh, the challenge that the oracle put out to us. That's great. Now we can go for the challenge here. So again, um, if the middle building space is clear, may jump, discard the top card of your deck if it has cost five or more. So we will see what the top card of Neo's deck is. It is a three. So unfortunately, we take a strike and the strike damage is three. Um, Neo's got 12 though, uh, so that's not, uh, not bad and perhaps we can heal that at a later point. Um, but the good news is, is that the challenge has been um, looked after. It's, um, so hopefully that'll help <laughs> later on and won't come back to bite us now. So you can see the strike on Neo here. Um, could be worse though. Um, okay, so we're going to draw that card there and I'm going to shuffle everything together and draw five more cards on top of that one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we have hmm, still no synergies though. Got some decent uh, recruiting, um, not a lot of strikes though, so huh, interesting. Morpheus, Morpheus's turn, Matrix moves along. Okay, Morpheus will not have any help from the others in terms of coordination. Um, so we'll, uh, and because it's act two, we're going to free, free my mind, um, where we draw a card and we get three extra recruiting points. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a pretty good, that's pretty good. Okay, excellent. Now we need to see what we're going to buy here. Um, now I think, um, I want to save this one for Neo, but this one is a blue symbol, which we're trying to help, I'm trying to make happen from, from Morbius. So we'll take this one. We'll have to lose the, the two extra unless, no, we don't get anything affordable there. So we'll just have to let it go. Okay. We have uh, three strike, um, as Morpheus dives into the, the matrix again. And um, I guess we'll do a scan of one of these ones. We'll do the alley and see what's coming up. Okay. Um, can't scan for the rest of the turn. Oh, well, that's all right. Um, but at least it revealed the tactical police. Not a, not a terrible, uh, terrible enemy to face. Okay, I'm going to draw these two. Shuffle up the rest here. The decks are getting a little bit thicker. Okay, and we've got, oh, we got the new Trinity card. Oh, and Free Your Mind again. That's great. Um, so we've got a pretty decent hand for next time. Um, and we've got the coordinate with the three damage. That We'll just keep that on top as a reminder in case we want to utilize it. Okay, um, this card moves into the combat zone. And uh, this is, a, once again... Um, <laughs> Once, uh, once again, uh, Trinity is hit with uh, the uh, uh, what good is a phone call if you're unable to speak uh, card. So that's uh, a bit of a bummer, but not the end of the world. And we'll move everything along. Okay, so it can't be coordinated to. And we have four to spend, which would be useful if we can get out of the matrix here. So let's see. Um, all right, once per turn, you may choose a player in the matrix and heal their lowest damage strike. So that can be very uh, useful for Neo. Um, so I think what we'll do is we've got four strike here, or four damage here. So, um, uh, yeah, you know what? Um, I think we're going to spend two on a scan and then the remaining two on a, on a kill here. Okay, so we're going to do a scan here. Oh, and that's a training card. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we have, I just realized with this card here, we actually have um, five strikes. So we can use the, these, one, these two for the, the scan, and then we can use the, the three here to try and take um, this uh, this guy out, but we're going to need to draw a good card, so we're going to try that. So let's see, and we do not. <laughs> so 
We do not defeat the uh, the trainer, unfortunately. That would have been good to get out of the matrix uh, and spend um, my recruiting points. But as it is, um, these recruiting points are now um, unusable. So um, that'll end uh, Trinity, Trinity's turn. It was a good effort. So we're going to take the advantage of that and remove that strike from uh, Neil. Okay, <clears throat> this uh, event is done and we've got a couple of strikes or I keep calling them strikes <laughs> a couple of damage cards combat cards whatever and I'm going to draw another four one two three four and we've got uh, oh and I forgot I get to heal um, Neo's lowest strike um, which happens to be a pretty powerful one um, so can I, this is okay I can do five damage and if I can get out um, of the matrix there's also some opportunities to buy cards and I can also coordinate so I'll leave this one face up there just in case okay we're going to advance the matrix here there we go okay it's Neo's turn um, we have uh, some potential coordinate with uh, Morpheus and some potential coordinate with Trinity as well. So we're going to need that, um, I think. So I'm going to spend these two here to strike um, in the subway, and then we're going to borrow this uh, card from Morpheus to strike the uh, baddie in the combat zone this turn. So I'm going to spend these two strike here and take out the police, the tactical police. And I'm going to borrow the coordinate uh, from Morpheus and see if I can take out this training card. We draw a strike to see what happens. And it's a zero. So no, we do not, uh, <laughs> do not, uh, we're not able to salvage the situation. Now I actually have some decent recruiting points to spend um, and I could leave the matrix but the problem is any strike would hit the time track and not me and I'm in good health so I'm going to just have to take the, uh, the hit here and it's fortunately just one, uh, one damage so that's, uh, that's not bad as far as it goes uh, but uh, unfortunately we don't get to recruit any new cards and this is a, the way these games generally tend to work. You got some time to recruit the cards early on and then eventually uh, it gets harder and harder to get out out of the matrix to to get new cards and build more on your deck okay so we're going to draw six cards and see what we get and we've got some oh we got all these symbol cards but no coordination at least we've got some coordinates uh coming up both economically and damage wise so maybe we can get lucky with uh, some attacks. The matrix then advances. <clears throat> so what can Morpheus do? Well, um, we have uh, Morpheus's ability, which gives us some more recruiting points, um, but we need to be able to get out of the matrix here, and I don't think we're gonna be able to, uh, to do that. I suppose we could we could zip out maybe if it made sense to buy this tank card, but I don't know. We'll have to see. We're going to spend three attack to uh, attack that uh, training card. We need a two or more, and uh, no, no damage. So the unit stays there, unfortunately, and I don't think we're going to be able to really afford to get out. Um, Geez, that's unfortunate. So, uh, okay. So anyway, um, we're going to, um, uh, is it worth getting out? By then the strike will hit the time track instead of my avatar. So I'd better just take the, uh, the hit. We're going to take the hit from the combat zone and it's one uh, strength. So that's not too bad as far as damage goes. And we've got our next six cards. And uh, any coordinates here? Okay, good. We got a coordinate. We got some damage. Damage coming. Uh, maybe we can hit hard with Trinity this upcoming turn. 
Matrix advances, and oh, we've got an even stronger training card for strength. Great. Okay. Well, at least we've got some coordinates uh, in place so we can um, potentially do some major attacks this turn. Now, Trinity's in the same boat with the economic side of things, um, but we can heal a strike this turn, which is great, and we've got uh, another four damage to, of coordinate. So um, let's see, we've got um, five, six, seven, um, and we might be able to do a scan. Okay, anyway, so what we're going we're gonna to spend these uh, five strike um, doing a, uh, an attack with uh, Morpheus's coordinate, and uh, we will see if we can uh, get some lucky uh, damage on the strikes here. That gives us, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's enough to hit both um, characters there. Okay, moment of truth for the first one. It's a one, not good enough. Second one, not good enough. Oh my gosh. These would have been decent strikes to take as damage, but it um, makes it very, very hard to kill these uh, training uh, enemies. So that means that the, uh, the economic cards are useless, and we'll have to take two strikes damage. No damage. Um, discard the strike, that's good. And, oh, no damage, discard the strike. Wow, I must, I thought I shuffled those strike cards very well, but I'm happy with the result. And then we're going to draw six cards again. Lots of damage, that's fine. Not, no coordinates, though. Trinity's going to heal uh, that strike from Morpheus. Now this is where the combat zone gets a bit crowded. And the lady in red turns up. Okay, this is falling to Neo now. Um, all right. So this is, uh, this is okay. So I get plus two against the next enemy I fight in the combat zone this turn. So that is uh, pretty good. Um, there's no coordinates, I don't think, from my friends. So I've got to do this all on my own. So I've got three, um, four, five, six. Okay, so I have six total strike. I don't think I'll be going anywhere to be able to spend these economic cards, so I may as well discard them. Um, so I've got uh, three and then four, five, six. So I can take out potentially two enemies if I get lucky here. So with six to spend, Neo's going to take care of the lady in red, and we need to draw a strike to see about this. All right, good. Got the second training... Um, enemy looked after and we only have to suffer one strike and it's a two uh, the mind makes it real okay so that's all right we can manage that Neo's going to draw six cards one two three four five six okay and uh, some stuff that'll be good feed your mind will be good for some combat we get uh draw a card and plus three damage so yeah it just depends on whether we can get those training enemies finished off okay so the thing moves along oh what have we got here place the uh, telephone token on the space in the alley for the rest of the game players cannot leave the matrix through that phone so unfortunately that phone is now officially out of order in the alley um, now Normally it sits nicely on top of there, but I find with the sliding the cards, it doesn't uh, doesn't make it too easy. So I just put it at the top. And the rest of the cards slide along. But the good news is only one enemy to defeat in the combat zone. Okay, now it is up to Morpheus to some extent. Okay, we only have three damage here. It's not enough to take out that uh, enemy in the in the uh, combat space. We don't have a chance at it, so we can do a scan, I guess. 
scan the alley. What have we got? Oh, I got the security guard there. Um, yeah, we can't uh, unfortunately fight him this turn, but we can take him out very easily in a subsequent turn. Morpheus recently healed, draws another strike. It's a blind strike, so it blocks the ability for the next time uh, I draw Feed Your Mind, um, but otherwise causes no damage. And the Matrix moves along. Oh, and we've got Deja Vu. This is the second time we've seen it. So um, we need to read a Glitch in the Matrix card. And that's right here. So put the uh, so put the uh, two SWAT officer extra cards face up into the two rightmost clear spaces in the matrix row. If there aren't enough, put each remaining SWAT officer in the combat zone. Then put Agent Smith extra card face up on top of the matrix deck. We'll enter the matrix row next turn. So that sounds wonderful. And um, we take the uh, the the SWAT. Uh, cards here and they go they're not weak either they're five uh, take five damage and we have agent uh, agent smith coming into the game now um, so that's not uh, that's not very good we're not <laughs> we're not happy about that okay so we get four cards from that we're gonna shuffle up and Morpheus will take two more off the top. So we've got, ah, still no real combos hitting. We're getting all these icons, but they're all mixed. It's really frustrating. Anyway, we're going to have to pay attention to the coordinates uh, here because uh, they do have symbols and they may we may be able to piggyback. Okay, well, we do have a symbol there, but that's not going to add any value at this point. Anyway, we've got some uh, some options hopefully opening up. Okay, Trinity is going to need to get some attack strength here. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, the economics cards are going to be useless for the next foreseeable future here. Um, so um, we can, with Morpheus's uh, coordinate here, um, we can get up to eight, uh, eight attack. Ah, uh, that's a really tricky number for the enemies that are there. But uh, but hey, at least we'll, if we eliminate someone, we'll at least get an extra card draw this turn. So how am I going to spend these eight? Well, I'm going to definitely eliminate a SWAT officer. And I think I want to take out the security guard so we don't get any more advancing uh, uh, into the combat zone. And then we may as well scan with the last two. And this gives us, um, if the enemy is in this combat, uh, or sorry, if the enemy is in the matrix row, um, draw a strike. So that's not good. <laughs> so anyway, Trinity draws a four. You may subtract one from the time track instead of taking a strike. If you do, discard the strike. I think we'll do that. That's, um, that's a pretty powerful, uh, powerful strike. It does cost us a bit on the time track, though. And Trinity has to draw two more strikes because of the combat zone. There's a two and a two. So we're beginning to take some real damage now, unfortunately. Trinity gets to draw seven cards this turn. So there's six. So, and oh, we're going to get some, uh, oh, this is good. We can get some combo, <laughs> finally a combo. And we get to draw one more card from here. And just draw it randomly. And uh, it's just a regular one damage strike. Um, no coordinates, but we can get some more card draw going next turn, which will be great. The Matrix advances. Agent Smith is on the rooftops. This agent goes back into hiding. Okay, Neo, now's your moment. Um, and we don't have a lot of attack here. This is not good. Um, okay, we're going to play this one, though, um, which will give us a... Um, uh, we've got uh, plus three attack and a 
card draw. And that's good in a way, I guess, but it's not exactly what we need. We needed more damage. Uh, it's a powerful recruiting card. If only we could actually get out of the matrix. So we've got five attack. I think we'll just have to use that against the SWAT officer, to be honest, um, just to avoid taking two hits. SWAT officer is out. But I draw a strike for the training enemy, and it is three. So um, Mr. Anderson's up to six damage. He's half half dead, but oh, we still have some uh, some fight in us. Okay, so we're gonna draw three, four, five, six. Okay, we're looking for coordinates. We got one, two. So we got lots of coordinates on the economic front. Um, if anyone can get out of the matrix, it'll be a great time to, uh, to <laughs> pick up some cards. Okay, we get to that agent uh, in the matrix and Agent Smith moves to the building. He is on his way. Okay, Morpheus. Ah, right. Attack's really the only thing we care about at the moment. Um, we have a four. Yeah, the economic stuff doesn't matter. So we have four attack. We have enough to try and take out that agent. Or sorry, not the agent, the uh, training um, enemy. We're going to go for it. And it's... Uh, it's two damage or more, the strike card. So we managed that's our third training enemy, um, which is good. We're about halfway there. Um, we draw a strike for the agent, and it's a two. Um, all in all, not too bad. And Morpheus draws six more. There's actually seven cards because of that. Uh, that bonus, we did eliminate an enemy. Um, so at a bit of risk, but oh, we got some attack coordinate and some economic coordinate. If we could possibly get anyone out to buy cards, it would be great. And combat zone advances, and we have an event here. The player with the least total damage draws a strike. Oh boy. Well, it looks like a, it's going to be for, um, for Morpheus. He's only got, he's got two strike cards, but the least total damage. So that's not good. And the strike is no damage. Discard this card. Whew, dodged a bullet. The rest of the cards move across. Agent Smith is now in the alley with a broken phone. Now it does feel like we have a bit of a breather here. Um, so we're going to uh, play this card uh, first here. And our ability is um, because it's act two, we draw two cards. Ah, oh, jeez, it might be worth leaving just to buy it. Look at all this. I've got no damage. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to strike with this card. I'm going to borrow uh, Morpheus's coordinate, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to kill the agent, and then I'm going to pay to get out because uh, this is too many recruiting points to <laughs> to waste. So three damage gets rid of that agent, and um, paying three to take the pay phone, and I'm out of here. Okay, so now I've got these these two actually, because I've already played. I choose any number of players to each draw a card, um, so that's great, and. Um, then I've got three more, so that's five points to spend. So each of my friends draws a card. You get a more or less worthless strike for both of them, unfortunately. Well, I guess it all helps. It's the first time we've been able to look at anything in the dock. Um, the unfortunate thing is we've got five to spend, um, but um, really, well, tell you what, we're, we're going to buy this because it's got a silver. I'm trying to make that happen for Trinity, and we'll see what we get. And 
That isn't that useful. Well, it will be for Neo, but we've only got two left. I guess I'll buy this one just because it's a combat card and we need combat cards at this stage. Okay, well, there's some more ranged weapons there from uh, Morpheus to purchase, hopefully, and we'll see if we can get him out. I'll clean up this mess here. And there's no cards in the combat zone for once, so we'll draw six cards. And we've got three... Oh, okay, we've got some good strikes there. No coordinates, but uh, we can do some damage when we get back to the Matrix. Okay, we're going to advance the Matrix track, starting with you and going clockwise. The first player who is in the real world moves to the Matrix. So there is only... Um, the Matrix is all around us event. So there is only Trinity in the real world so trinity is forced back into the matrix agent smith arrives in the streets okay it is neo's turn next and we have a fair bit of uh, good stuff here so hmm let's see We've got to figure out uh, how to beat Agent Smith here because this, <clears throat> this could be tough because um, we cannot uh, leave the Matrix as soon as he enters the combat zone. But we can't defeat him. I've got, uh, geez, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven to spend if I can get out of the matrix for free um, so what we're going to do we're going to pay two to scan the subway we'll see if we can get out uh, that way so we scan the subway we get an event reveal the top two cards of your deck discard each with cost one or more and put the rest back in any order so breaking into your mind okay that's not so bad top two cards um, we have to uh, discard uh, each with cost one or more and put the rest back in any order. Well, um, okay, we got to discard that one and put that one back on the deck. There's not, <laughs> not much to do with any order, um, but anyway, that's fine. Um, so with that then, um, just wondering if there's any coordination possible... Okay, um, I'm just checking the other decks here, and it looks like Morpheus can send me two recruiting points, so that's really good. I'm going to hop out of the Matrix then. So Neo's going to take the subway phone and leave the Matrix. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, this one we didn't end up needing, um, and there really wasn't anything we could do with it. Um, I'm going to use the coordinate from um, from Morpheus here, and that is going to give us nine to uh, to spend. And we didn't uh, unfortunately get the uh, this symbol; otherwise, it would have given us another two. But anyway, we will take uh, the um, the nine that we. Uh, can get and we'll see what we what we can find for that price all right so looking here um, I'm just looking at the symbols again we want the silvers for Trinity we want the long-range blue ones for Morpheus so I'm gonna buy this one for three it kind of meshes with um, Neo's options there there's another one oh there's eight geez that'll be a great one to uh, to get all right so we have six to spend um, I think I'll just take this one because it's gonna use the full um, the full space and uh, I mean we won't be able to match the symbols so much but um, that's a pretty good ability <laughs> if, um, if only Trinity could have that but uh, that is what it is and uh, anyway we get a healing uh, card there which isn't bad 
And we'll draw six cards here. We've got a free your mind. Uh, it's a reasonably balanced one, I guess. Uh, but uh, more going to be a bit more combat oriented. We could buy that cheap uh, healing card, though. Um, I don't want to dilute my deck. This is always the, the trick with these games is not diluting your deck too much. And sometimes it's all about the cards you choose not to buy as much as it is the cards you choose to buy. And the Matrix phase, Agent Smith is almost upon us. Okay, it's Morpheus's turn. One, two, three, four. Okay, we've got three and three. Um, we're going to use uh, Free Your Mind. Now we have the uh, the Blinded Strike, so we can't uh, basically, sorry, that cancels our uh, ability, um, but that's uh, that's okay. Then we will, um, well, we're going to use these uh, two cards to, uh, to scan the streets, and we'll save that one just in case uh, it's a weak enemy. And then we'll save these three for the um, for leaving by the payphone, so we can come back in and buy a card um, before we uh, zip back in the matrix, maybe for the last time. So we're gonna scan the streets, and oh, we've got that as same event as we did last time. So that buys us a little bit of time before Agent S Smith comes into the picture, which is good. Yeah, so we'll take a look at the top two cards. They're both zeros. So I go back, doesn't really matter what order they're in. And I'm going to spend these three to use the payphone. And get out of the matrix. No one in the combat zone yet, so we'll pick these three up. And we will shuffle. Hopefully we can get some uh, good recruiting points and get a, a decent card before... Um, diving back in, I'd like to grab one of those long-range ones if we can that's sitting there. And yeah, we got plenty of recruiting. Actually, it was good timing. We got six recruiting points to spend, so that could be very, very useful. The Matrix advances once more. Okay, Trinity is now up now trinity is in the matrix with lots of combat um okay and actually we've got a good combo here so we can uh, heal a strike from uh we get um, to choose a player in the matrix and heal their lowest damage strike and uh because of the matching reds here we get to do that again so that's we'd get trinity back up to full health Okay, so first of all, we are going to um, we're going to scan the uh, the streets with that card, and that'll give uh, the ability there, and we can play these. I doubt we're going to get any use out of this one, so we have uh, six more to spend, and I'll just heal these two strikes uh, right now while we're here. Okay, we're in good shape. That's uh, six more strikes after this. Uh, six more um, damage after this uh, um, scan. We'll scan the streets, and we have Agent Jones. Yikes! Okay. So when uh, fight when defeated, if there are any human enemies in the Matrix row or the combat zone, defeat the one closest to the Matrix deck and put this there. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, how much? I've only got six strength, unless there's a coordinate. Uh, let's see. Strike if you're. If you drive, never seen anyone move that fast. Uh, this enemy strikes you again. Okay, that's, a, that's all right. Okay, so if there are any uh, human enemies in the Matrix row or combat zone, defeat the one closest to the Matrix deck. Okay, interesting. So he basically. Uh, <clears throat> replaces uh, human human enemies in the Matrix row or combat zone. Interesting. Okay, cool. Um, all right, that's uh, true to the story. So um, anyway, it takes eight to defeat. So 
Um, that's pretty powerful. Um, let's see, what can we do here? I just checked and there's no coordinates, unfortunately, with my uh, friends. So we'll scan here and that gets, uh, that has a, uh, a military guard. Um, that's an enemy human. And I've only got three strike left. I'm really trying to, to hold, <laughs> hold them back. Okay, when this says cover on it, it means it can't um, be attacked while it has a, uh, a face down card on either side of it. So it's not that much of a concern for me right now because um, I'm in a bit of trouble here. But uh, anyway, we're going to uh, do the, we've got three damage left. We're going to scan the building and hopefully, oh geez. Well, that's, uh, that's a lot of enemies to fight in it <laughs> right now. We'll see if we can survive this. Okay, so Trinity's turn is done. It's productive in a way. Um, but let's see. Um, we got one, two, three. And we'll shuffle the rest of the cards up. And uh, we'll see what the other three cards are. One, two, three. Well, we got a card draw. That's good. I like that. Um, but not a lot of uh, attack. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. And Agent Smith arrives. Um, so we need to now get things to Act 3. So we need to defeat uh, some more training uh, guys, because this, this is, could go south pretty fast here. We're going to have to see how this one goes. Now, I made a bit of a mistake. Well, I guess it's a mistake. Um, the training is written in blue here, and I didn't realize that I had already completed all the training, probably when I killed this guy, I think, or, or her. Um, we completed the training, so I'm going to have to kind of retroactively, well, maybe not retroactively, but I'm going to have to see the oracle here. Um, so uh, be careful when you're playing the game here. This is my first time through the scenario, so you have to be careful with these uh, things. So if seven training cards have been defeated, you may talk to the oracle, complete this challenge, and begin Act 2, Part 2. So I don't know if that would have changed anything. We're going to take a look at the, the acts here. Okay. So each player randomly gains one of the following Oracle extra hero cards without looking at it and puts it on top of their deck. Don't worry about the vase. Okay, so these are all the Oracle ones. Um, so randomly gains each one of them and uh, puts it on the top of their deck. So that, um, yeah, that should have happened already. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Um, well, uh, we're putting the pressure on ourselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, <clears throat> I'm going to, because that, uh, I don't know when that would have entered our hand, but I'll just put them on top of our deck uh, for this time. I'm going to put a random one down. I don't know when this would have uh, actually happened. So I'm going to put one card down on each, on the top of each of my decks. We were a little late seeing the Oracle. Okay, now that we've spoken to the Oracle, um, that card is now done, and uh, we go to Act 3, Part 1. So put the Rescue the Captive Extra card into operations and the two Captive Guards Extra cards into the combat zone. We need to rescue the captive. So um, again, the timing on this might have been uh, a bit thrown out of whack. Um, but anyway, the um, Rescue the Captive it requires seven... Um, recruiting points. You can only complete this challenge while there are no captives guards in the combat zone. And then we can begin Act 3, Part 2. So we get two uh, captives guards in the combat zone. And uh, yeah, so this is, uh, <laughs> this is ramping up. <clears throat> so it's Neo's turn now, and things have gotten a bit out of whack maybe, but I don't think they're too much out of... Uh, out of uh, whack in some ways but anyway I'm gonna spend those two cards I'm gonna buy dozer here from the Nebuchadnezzar 
uh, crew and uh, the handy thing is that heals a strike if you have another green and now we're diving into the matrix we're going to use the um, special ability we are now in act three and now that gives me five uh, damage and I can draw a card which is the oracles card which is a uh, two uh, recruiting point two attack I won't be able to use the recruiting points but I can probably use the attack so I've got five um, plus so that's one, okay so that's uh, five six seven so I'm going to use this one here we're going to kill this guard here uh, how do I use this uh, I know that I know Kung Fu let me see here let me make sure I'm doing this right here because it says against the next enemy so I want to use it here if I can so I'm going to actually I'm going to do five and then these two here so that's going to kill this uh, this guard the captive guard that is going to give me plus two to the next enemy so that's uh, going to be one uh, two three four five that's still not enough unless I can get a coordinate from um, my friends and it doesn't look like I can there's no coordinate so I have five. <laughs> oh, it's one short of what I need oh that's uh that's not good okay i was building up a really good turn okay so uh if that's the case i got five uh five six seven plus five yeah got 12 that's just not enough okay i'm gonna scan uh three here and reveal this guy's cover and reveal you can't scan for the rest of the turn okay well that's all right Okay, so we got some. Uh, we got rid of one of the captive guards here, um, but uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to do more than that. It would have been great to have gotten the second guard dead, and then Morpheus, with all of his income, could have come in and saved the day. Anyway, we'll see what we can do. This is where it gets dangerous. I get two strikes. Um, let's see. The first one is another. Any other player may choose to take this strike instead of you. Uh, that might be wise. I think I'm going to because. Neo already has six damage, so that'll take him close to death there. And uh, so Trinity is going to take that one, and then uh, goodbye, Mr. Anderson. That takes me up to uh, to ten damage. So that is not not good at all. All right, and we'll draw one, two, three, four, five. We have pure economics, which may be of benefit. We'll see what we get here. One, two, oh, we've got one strike one. So with a coordinate, we might be able to use those to, um, to save the, uh, the hostages there. Um, that might come in handy. Um, we'll see. So much going on in this game, I forgot to choose a card to, to replace the one that was purchased. Now, I have not been able to slow down the march of the Matrix. I was hoping to get some events to get in the way and buy me a bit of time, but apparently we're at the climactic battle now. Okay, Morpheus has a lot of economics and not a lot else that could be handy um, anyway we've got uh, six that we can purchase uh, I don't think there's any coordinates that applies from our friends so we've got six to spend uh, all right so we're going to take a look at the cards available okay well we got enough for this one let's see what uh, else comes up and it's a little bit too expensive uh, nothing we can do so we're going to dive back into the matrix. We have uh, two damage, and we're going to use that to strike this guy. And uh, that's going to slow down the pace of uh, enemies moving into the combat zone, at least for now. 
Ah, and I made another mistake. The uh, captive's guard doesn't strike. Neo didn't uh, take two strikes there, but just one. Um, so if I kind of rewind that, then <laughs> Mr. Anderson comes uh, up and hits Morpheus for six. Uh, of course, Trinity takes that, that big strike from last time. So anyway, the next strike is defeat a random hero with a cost one or more in your discard pile, then discard this strike. So uh, that is a, um, yeah, so if we, we have to discard something with, uh, so Morpheus uh, is the one that's hit. We need cost one or more. Uh, so it's going to have to be one of the hovercrafts or one of these. Uh, long, uh, yeah, we'll get rid of the green hovercraft. I know that's probably a really bad idea. But um, we have to do something. We have to choose one of them. And so that uh, strike is discarded now. Okay, Morpheus draws six cards. And well, we got some combat. We have the Oracle's new cards, which allows us to choose, uh, draw three cards, disc draw one, discard the others. So that uh, could be useful. We'll uh, see see if we have a chance to if we can survive long enough to use it. The Matrix deck marches on, and now we have Trinity up next. Now Trinity has a lot of economics, but not much else. Okay, so well that's a that's a strike strike. Uh, sorry, a three damage and uh, choose any number of players to each draw a card. The uh, economic cards are not going to be useful at this uh, stage, so we'll draw cards for the other two. Okay, we're going to draw one economic card and, oh, free your mind. That one's useful. That one's for Morpheus. Now, looking over here with the three damage, we can only scan and Hope for the best. And it's yet another uh, military guard. So we're, uh, we're in a bit of trouble here. Uh, Trinity takes uh, two strikes. No damage. Discard the strike. Um, but uh, but this, uh, this guy, uh, if you draw an I've never seen, then he strikes you again. So that's a two. So Trinity's up to seven. And Agent Smith won. So we're in real trouble here. This No one said this game was easy. Okay, draw one, two, three, four, five, six. And we've got three. Well, we've got a lot of damage plus the, uh, plus the, uh, the Oracle's card if we can live long enough here. Combat zone is getting a bit crowded. And getting close to the end of the Matrix deck, but <laughs> we got a lot to do. I'm uh, making this game so much harder for myself. Agent Smith was supposed to leave in Act 3, so I've taken a few extra hits there that I wasn't supposed to. But uh, anyway, my apologies. <laughs> All right, so... We've got all the economic might in the world, but it's not going to be enough. Ah, uh, jeez. This is not a good hand. Six. Six economic... I can't do anything worth worth talking about here. Um, is there any coordinate? Uh, there's an attack. I guess I can... I can do an attack coordinate with the help of Morpheus. So I'm going to do that. And with that card, I can scan, I guess. There's not much I can do that's any good. I'll scan here. And we've got Cypher. Reveal, put Cypher into the real world next to your avatar at the end of your next turn if cypher hasn't been defeated he defeats all players wow 
if you're defeated before then, he defeats all players. <laughs> Cypher doesn't strike, but yeah, he kind of does. So, um, wow. Okay, that's deadly. I think Cypher might mean the end of the game for us. I don't know if we can get out of, out of the combat zone and into, into the real world in time. Uh, I've got maybe the strength to do it if I'm able to escape. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, well, we move the cards along. Well, we need Morpheus to kill someone here because um, we need to get uh, someone out into the real world to kill Cypher. <laughs> so anyway, I'll look at the uh, top three cards of my deck, draw one and discard the others. Oh, geez, that isn't that great. Um, I guess we'll take the combat here. I'm also going to free my mind, which gives me more um, recruiting points, but more importantly, I draw a card. Oh, geez. Um, okay, so I've got a lot of recruiting points here. I've only got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's not quite enough have to look for a coordinate here from my friends. I do have a coordinate from Neo. So that gives me two additional. Um, let's see. So we get five uh, points there. If we can get a oh, geez, we can't. We're one short. If we could get seven, we could kill that captive's guard, and we could um, one, two, three, four, five. Am I adding that up right? Maybe we got it. One, two, three, four, five, and then the two. Yeah, I think that's seven from with Neo's card to help out. So that works well, and uh, we can actually get that captive guard. So the captive's guard is out of the way, um, which is great. And then we've got tons of economic, uh, <laughs> we've got tons of recruiting points to spend with Morpheus's ability. We'll solve this challenge, and we begin Act 3, Part 2. He is the one. If an agent has destroyed your exit, uh, do you run or end the game with a minor victory? Oh boy, this is interesting. Or are you beginning to believe? So put uh, the Agent Smith extra card with 12 strength. I don't know if I am believing with this. Because um, this is going to be pretty, pretty crazy, I think. Um, okay, so we have Agent Smith um, with 12 uh, um, health face up into the rightmost space of the matrix row. Um, so how does that, um, do I place it on top, I guess? It doesn't say. Um, okay. If the inevitable card is in the matrix row, put this in one space to its left. If it's in the combat zone, put him there. Okay. My objective is to defeat Agent Smith. Huh, I don't know. Do you run and end the game with a minor victory, or are you beginning to believe? I don't know. Can I <laughs> maybe end with a minor victory? I'm, I'm kind of thinking that might be the only way forward. Uh, so we'll see. Well, to be honest, I think I'm going to take a minor victory. But you know what? I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to... <laughs> um, I'm going to play it out anyway. Um, we'll just have some fun. I don't know whether this Agent Smith is supposed to be on top of the other card, but I'm just going to move everything along because that's what I figure has to happen. Um, I really don't think I can pull out a victory, a major victory here. So, um, But uh, anyway, I'm happy to take the minor victory and then see what happens. And Morpheus has to take a couple of strikes here because there's three enemies in the combat zone. That's one, so that's four five, six, let's add these up here, 
Seven. Oh boy. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that would be it for Morpheus, and that would be it for the game. But <laughs> fortunately, I was able to squeak out a minor victory before it happened. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay of the Legendary Encounters Matrix Edition. And we'll see you here next time on Legendary Tactics.